it's good. It's good because all the trainers, if you win the title, I win the title at Belmont, so it's because they give me the opportunity and they ride me a lot, so it's good to have the momentum and just keep going. It's a little easier, I think, but here is, everything is different. We got some new jockeys from out of town and new trainers, so it's still a little hard, so we have to go out there and work. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Uh, like you say, I uh, got a lot of momentum. Uh, I won the clips, so well, that was last year, you know, working this year now, so... Uh, I mean, it's, we had a very good start. Uh, last two days, haven't win any, but... Uh, I'm confident that we're gonna keep trying and we're gonna win a lot of races in the next. I hope, but I hope I can ride him back and it's a really nice horse. He got in the Derby and the Belmont, finished third. And I think he can win on big races this year, and next year. Okay. I'm excited about the Magic coming back, going to the Husker. Uh, Grankowski coming back from the Belmont. And a late, he just came back and the reason why is because I think they all really, really nice horses, so I think they can win big races this year. The column, we got a very tough column and jockey here. And like you said, trainers coming from out of town with their own jockeys and stuff like that, so make it a little harder for everybody. Yeah, it's a lot of horses, big fields, horses. Dropping in class, I mean, it's a very tough competition here. Yeah. No, it's, it's not easy. You keep working hard, and yeah, you have some trainers, they, it's been a, they drop horses to claim in bottom to, to win, just to win a race. I mean, it's a little hard. Sometimes you think you have a live horse in the race, and somebody come up with, with a horse from 50 to 20, 16. And, you know, it's, it's hard to beat them. Yeah. It's hard. They all have the class and, you know, stuff like that. For me, the history of the, the race track, I mean, it's great. And it's a very short meet. A lot of people here, which is great, uh, cheering on, on you or cheering on your horse or some other guy. And the quality of racing is great. It's a lot of stakes. Running like you don't have to take them almost every day, which I love. And uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just the history of the place who make it a lot of make it special. Very special, you know, it's a lot of good races in here. Uh, okay, we have great ones, a lot of great ones there too. Um, it's fun, you wanna be out there, you don't wanna sit on be on the jocks on those races when it's time to run those races, you wanna be out there with a little bit of horse. So you you out there you have a chance to win. Oh, all those races. So we, we really like it to be out there and then say all the owners. And it's special because we have a lot of people here the whole week. You know, every single day we have a how many people in here? It's a lot. They love horses. I, I like that. Oh, really? I mean, you just want to win as much as you can. That means that you're going for the title. So. I mean, you're just trying to win it almost every race you can. Try to have lucky and land on the on the good one. So that sets you up for the fall, which is, I mean, you get a nice baby here, probably. With the hopeful, then if you win the hopeful, it happens to go to the champagne, which is another great one, and then the previous cup, which is great. And uh, I mean, it's, it's the feel is same thing, spin away, uh, free set, and previous cup. I mean, this kind of the year set you up, set you up for for the end of the year. So it's really important to have luck and uh, land on the right kind of horses, right kind of babies. Uh, carry those horses will carry you, you momentum till the end of the year.
Lucky that we would be number one. Yeah. Other than that, so. Kentucky Derby, I wanna win the Freakness. We already won the Bomb so. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai World Cup. Asuka. Stop like that. Yeah. Not to win the, the Classic either. Biggest cup. Biggest cup, yeah. You know, Any kind of beer. So happy. Yeah. Yeah, Vegas is pretty nice. But yeah, Vegas come I'm happy. You know, every time I win, I'm happy. But we we fight for for every. We wanna win everything. But it's tough. Yeah. We gotta have racing luck and be on the right horse in the right day. Right. We try. <laughs>
to win more than you lose, you gotta be a 51 percent, and nobody have that percentage. Nobody. So you gotta be a good loser. <laughs> so I think I learned how to, how to lose. I like John Velasco. Johnny, I'm oh, gonna look at him. Angel Johnny. Ramon yesterday, I talked to Ramon yesterday so about some things. So, I mean, tips, some tips there. He thinks work for the horses. So, just like to hear everybody and learn from that. And probably, you know, it's better for me. So. You do everything so perfect. You don't move too much. You use the handwriting. He hit the horses, he go back to him, you know, hand ride. It's hard to do it, you know. You can see it a little easy on the TV, but it's not easy. When you go into a stretch and you, you know somebody's coming, you just want to hit him, you know, keep hitting him. Like, he wants to win so bad, he just ride with patience, like, hit it once, and you go back to him, he switch it, boom. He, he, he don't go crazy on the horses, so I really like that. But it's hard, it's hard to do it. Even for me, I mean, sometimes I just wanna win, just to, ah, start screaming and hit it more than I can. And that's not the best thing sometimes. So you have to be connected with the horse. You connect with your horse, you you your right. So I just like that from him. Creator in the vamos Me too, vamos takes. That's a tough race to win, so tough. You gotta have the right trip and the whole, you gotta get the distance. It's very weird. <laughs> Three Aaron. I win a Stefan Skidan too. That was a good race. I think so. I have run a lot of good races, but I think the one on top pretty what well. Everything worked out perfect and the horse responded well. I mean, we were. I put the horse right where Todd told me to put him, and everything works out well. He wins, so I think that was a very perfect race. You said Stephanie's kitten in the Breeders' Cup? Or? Yeah, it Keenan. wasn't the Breeders' Cup, it right? um, oh. yeah, was 2016, probably. Yeah. 15, 16? 16. 16. 15, maybe. Um, because 16 there. Yeah, um, and then. Um, no, I don't know. And the bonus take. That was everything went perfect for me. Why the Stephanie's kitten race? Uh, everything. When I watch from the gate, I do everything I want. Like, the way I want to do it, and everything come out like that. I just, I don't want to, I break out of the gate. I don't want to take back right away, so I let him be. I know I'm going to be last or probably second last, but I don't want to take the intention out of her and drop in, so. Let him break and then go to the first turn, going back slowly. Let everybody pick it up and then when they pass me, I go in. And from there, I go into the rail and split some horses. Go back into the rail, very tight. And then I split some horses on the stretch when they open up. So she, I know she's gonna give me a good kick because she really liked the soft ground and that day was soft. So I, uh, I ride it with confidence and she, she show up. Everything worked out good for us. You never know, but you gotta work for it. You gotta dream big, like we say. Dream big. And at John Lynch, we ride horses, and we always say, I wanna be a jockey. You know, I got, mom have tapes with us in the, at the house, like riding. We always wanna be a jockey. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to be a jockey, but uh, not so badly when I was like, 10, 11, 12. I was more into play baseball and stuff like that. And then when I turned like, I r r loved the jockey part, but I wasn't very into it. I really liked the horse. I, we had horses, and I didn't love to ride the horse, but I was more like, more into baseball. And then I figured out I wasn't big enough. And when I turned like 14, 15, I went to the school and then I started going with him a couple of times when I got free time out of school. 
and I fall in love more than I was. So that's when I really say, well, this is what I wanted to do for my whole life. I didn't expect to be this successful so fast, but I mean, we sure, surely work very hard for it, and we're just enjoying it, trying to keep going, probably be more successful. We, I don't think about it, I just do it and every opportunity they give me, I try to do the right thing. Yeah, we go day by day. And keep going, <laughs> keep going, don't think about it, whatever happened yesterday is past. Keep going. It's very nice, uh, every young kid wanna be like us. Like, we want to be like Johnny or somebody else, whatever, whoever. Like, just to hear that they want to be like you is very nice and that give you like more, I don't know, like a little push to keep going harder and harder every day. Yes, that means a lot too. It's a special. We all are there sometimes to Puerto Rico and the students in the school, they, when they see you, they see like somebody big. I mean, it's, it's hard. I feel, I feel really good about it. And, uh, sometimes you think about it because you gotta be a sample, example for those, those guys. You, you have to do the right thing and be home. Yeah, keep you straight. <laughs>